guys, welcome to St. Paul Learning. So we build a delivery card, which is out of order. Happy Father's Day, guys. So my dad is going to show you how he will debug it. All right. So what do we got here? So we got a out of order card and we want to fix it. So let's look at the program. All right, so let's start from the first block. So the first block says, when you press the left button on the hub, which is this button, uh, something should happen. And let's see what is that something. So first thing, the C, there is a sensor here, either a motor, uh, probably a motor, which is on sensor C. The speed for that uh, motor is will be set to 100%, and the C will go, uh, the, the motor, uh, motor directions or motor, motor movement will change to the zero position. And then we'll set the movement on motors A and E. A and E are connectors where two motors will be connected. And then it will basically set the movement speed to 50%. And then it will start moving until it finds a, a sensor, which is which we have connected to the B connector on the hub. And if a distance is closer than zero centimeter, which technically means that it, will, it won't stop, it will keep on moving. It will never detect the zero centimeter and will keep on moving and we won't be able to stop it. So first thing, let's let's hit the initialize the program. And now we'll hit the left button and see what happens. All right, nothing is happening. So we're gonna start debugging it right now. If you see the, the section here, the, the group of blocks here are highlighted in yellow, which means that the command, the left command is picked up by the first uh, block here. So now let's see why the C speed is not set to 100%. So I'll click on the C here and I will see that there's nothing connected here on the C. However, I have motors connected on B, D, and F. So I should be using one of these motors. So now we will see which one uh, is actually uh, the motor that we're gonna replace at position C. So I want this, this motor, which is gonna be our directional motor. With, uh, and that's the one I wanna first set the position for the rotation for. So I'll try to track this cable and see what connector this cable is connected to. And in this case, it's the D. So we'll change it from C to D, which is this guy. All right. I will change the connector from C to D here as well. We will set the position to zero, which will make sure that the cart will go straight. The next, I'm gonna set the positions, uh, sorry, movement on motor A and E, which I believe is also not accurate. So the, we need to select motor F and B. So there's two motors on F and B, D we already selected. So F and B, I'll quickly show, this one is the left side motor and it's connected to the F. And this is a right side motor and the wire is connected to B. So we'll select F and B. Next, we'll set the speed to 50% and we'll start moving straight. So we'll move it straight, uh, not five, and there you go. All right, and wait until B, let's see what is B. B should be our distance sensor, which is this guy here and is connected to all the way towards A. So it's not connected to B, it's connected to A. So we need to change it. So we'll change it to A and then uh, we also need to give them distance. If we don't give any distance, it will basically keep on moving. So I'll say distance of nine centimeters as soon as, oops, this is not 99, nine centimeters. As soon as it sees an object at nine, cent at nine centimeters, it should stop moving. So we'll start, see if uh, we debugged our program and fixed the issue. So this is my stopper. As soon as the motor reaches nine centimeters, it should stop. So let's press the left button. The left button is the one that's gonna trigger the uh, the motors. So here we go, one, two, three. Okay, we need to hit the play button. All right. 
Boom. All right, let's do it one more time. As soon as it reaches ninth uh, centimeters distance, it should automatically stop. All right, next we're gonna fix the uh, block, which is responsible for movement when we click the right button, which is this guy. All right, let, so let's read it. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. So we already know that the motor uh, for the directional motor, which is the back motor, the bigger one is on D. So I'll move it to D uh, and keep on changing these to D as well. Uh, the set uh, movement motors. So if I wanna uh, set these motors, I know that E and A and E does not have any motors. I know F and B have the motors from our left button program. We'll change it, uh, start moving straight. Uh, wait for the sensor at B, we'll check it. Sensor is not at the B. At B, we got a motor, sensor is on A, so we'll select A here. Uh, closer then, we'll change it from zero to nine centimeters because we do want the cart to stop. And after that, we want it to stop moving. Uh, now we set C, shortest part C is same as uh, D. This is our uh, directional motor, we set it to D. And then we are going to look at the movement. The moment it says it will go forward 50 centimeters, then it'll stop. Then we also need to go back to D here and it will set the position to zero. And then I'll, I, I wanna make sure that uh, it goes back and then goes forward. So I wanna change the direction from backward to forward uh, 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters is a lot of space on our, you know, workstation, uh, work desk here. So I wanna make sure that it doesn't fall off our works work this so we'll make it go at least 30 centimeters so we make sure it won't fall off our work uh, table all right i'm hoping this is gonna work let's uh hit the start button all right it's initialized we'll put our block here so that it can detect the stop block we'll hit the right button go straight Stops at nine centimeters. Wait for one second. Goes back and then stops again. Wait for one second and goes forward and stops again. Thank you guys.